What's up guys, Matt from Filmora here, and I'm gonna show you how to use the picture in picture layer. You know, so you can stack a video on top of another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Alright, so the picture in picture tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I did that little skit. I'm just going to show you the part where the thought bubble, where George pops the thought bubble above my head. So basically, w when you see that tropical vacation uh, footage, that is a video track on top of another one. And that's essentially what I want to show you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete these, the current video tracking the elements in place there and start from scratch so we have our one clip here and I want to add a video track on top of it so I'm going to drag this tropical island footage into my picture in picture track layer right now it's sitting at about the fourth one down from the top and I'm going to put it into position trim it so it fits the size that I want So now you notice when I select the the picture in picture track, I get this yellow bounding box around the edges. That signals that I can resize and reposition it. So if I go into the edit menu and then the advanced tab, I can actually change, I can put a mask on it so I can change the shape of it. And that's how I got the thought bubble look. So as you can see, there's plenty of options to choose from. Another cool thing is if you click on the effect tab, you can you got uh, options to pull the green screen, you can add a drop shadow, you can add a border around the edge, and you can also rotate and flip it. So I'm going to add a little stroke, a little border on the edge, just, uh, I don't know, when I see thought bubbles I always think there's a, a white border around the sides. So I'm going to hit OK and as you can see it updates in the program monitor. And I'm just gonna reposition it a little more so it's above my head. That way George can pop it in the correct position. So now you can see George hits it and so I have it on the frame. As George pulls his hand back, it disappears. And now I'm gonna add an element, almost sort of like uh, the bubble has popped. Uh, we've got a uh, element motion shape three I'm gonna drop in. I need to reposition it so it's in the correct spot where the thought bubble was. And there you go, a little popped thought bubble and a splash of water to wake me up. So I just want to show you really quickly, I know this is very popular where you're seeing gaming videos. You can usually see the person's face when they're playing the game, so I'm just going to show you how to achieve that effect. And this can, this can apply to all types of videos. So I'm going to resize everything, and again I get the yellow bounding box around the edge, I'm going to shrink it down to, to the desired size that I want, place it in the bottom right corner, and play it back and you can see I've got my little gameplay footage with uh, reaction shots. Another thing you might want to try is when you hit the edit menu you can actually choose animation or motion that's the way that your footage will appear on screen so it might fly in or you can do like I'm doing right now and choose a fade so it'll fade up so it's just a way to gradually introduce the clip the shot but as you can see you play it back and it fades up so I'm going to go back into the advanced tab and I just want to show you the other features that we have so there's the chroma key the green screen so say if you were to film a picture in picture on a green screen, you could actually pull the green screen and then it would just be like your, your body floating there. Drop shadow, I uh, just add a little more 3D dimension. You can also play around with the distance, the blur, the transparency. You can change the color, you can change the angle that the drop shadow shows up at. The border I showed you, uh, another option besides increasing the distance blur and transparency is you can add a gradient to the edge 
So maybe you want to match your YouTube channel's brand colors and you have the option to do that. And last is flip. So you can rotate it, you can flip it horizontally and vertically. Uh, this might come in handy if you recorded the wrong way so your your face might be looking looking away from the footage and you just need to quickly flip it back inwards towards the footage. And that's how you do the picture in picture track. Thanks so much for watching guys. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to crush that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.